Now, it sounds very James Bond, the perfectly cut business suit that is bulletproof, of course. That's the boast from the company Aspetto, and its 28-year-old co-founder has just been included on the Forbes list of 30 under 30. 30 young game changers, as they put it, from a variety of different industries. Well, for the first time, six people originally from Pakistan made it onto that list, and one of them is Abbas Haider from that company, Espetu, who joins me live now from Washington. Welcome here to the programme. So tell me, look, you were a student. How did you come up with that idea? <laughs> uh, well, Matthew, um, I started a clothing line freshman year of college out of my freshman dorm room, and it was a men's clothing store. Or, uh, actually, I didn't have a store. It was out of my dorm room. Uh, where we made bespoke suits and dress shirts. Fast forward uh, about three and a half, four years, I was in a senior year class project uh, for international marketing class where we had to take a product from America and market it overseas. Um, since I already owned a company, my professor suggested to our group that, hey, why don't you take one of Abbas's products and market it overseas? I wanted to take something to the Middle East, and unfortunately at that time, uh, even now, uh, the first thing you think of Middle East, when uh, because of the media and everything, wars, bombs, bullets. So um, we thought about how, what if we can combine armor and clothing? We did some research and uh, realized there was nobody in America doing it. Uh, luckily, we were there was a ballistics company that was pretty close to us that uh, helped us develop our first prototype. And, and you know, tell, before tell we me could more even... then about the, the, the bulletproof stuff because you know when yep. people think of it, they, they think of it being heavy, Kevlar, the sort of things we see on our screens. Uh, that cannot be what you're sticking in the suits, surely? No, 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 no. So we spent a lot of time in research and development and uh, developed the lightest materials in the world. So if I was wearing a ballistic suit, which I'm not, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that I'm wearing it. And uh, within five minutes of wearing it, you forget that it's even there. The way we uh, integrate it into our clothing, the way we suspend it. How, how heavy is it, though, the, the bulletproof stuff? Because we're looking at the pictures. Well, it depends on how screen, much you want to pay for it. How heavy is it to wear? Yeah, it depends on how much you want to pay for it. Uh, our, our most expensive line, it'll only be about two and a half, three pounds. I don't know how much it is in kilos, but yeah. It's super light. And you talked about the Middle East. Uh, who else are you aiming this at? Because presumably there must be a market for this. You've just made it onto the Forbes list. Oh, so uh, Middle East is definitely a market, but uh, U.S. government is our biggest client. But unfortunately, we've, uh, with what's happening around the, the country, we've seen a massive uh, demand increase uh, with just your regular citizens. Yes, it's interesting. Tragically, actually, after the the Parkland school shooting, uh, the makers of bulletproof backpacks for children were talking about uh, just a surge in interest. So, so you're seeing that too, are you? We're just with, with ordinary people there yeah. in America. Oh, absolutely. We get the saddest requests. After Vegas shooting, we had a grandma that wanted a ballistic uh, sweatshirt because she wanted to go grocery shopping. Or teachers who wanted, when they go out in the yard with, the, uh, with their students during recess, they want ballistic uh, jackets. I've got sad pink backpacks sitting in my office that parents dropped off uh, because they wanted ballistic. We're a company that never markets it. You will never see an advertisement yep. or anything after a shooting, but people just come to us being America's first bullet-resistant clothing company. Yeah. Well, sadly, that's where we are, certainly in the United States. Uh, Abbas Ada, we have uh, run out of time, but thank you so much for taking...